It's been more than a week since a handful of fires have burned through California. Today, the death toll sits at 66. Many of those casualties were senior citizens, unable to escape the flames in time. Right now, at least 600 people are still unaccounted for. But overnight, the cooler weather helped firefighters get a grasp on battling these blazes. RT correspondent Natasha Sweet is in Malibu speaking with residents who have lost almost everything. Well, these charred hillsides show just a fraction of the devastation incurred by the California wildfires, and it's adding up to be one of the most expensive natural disasters. I'm about to pull up on my crib right now, yo. Just drove through the barricades. Just drove through the barricades. Come on, people. The suspense and heartbreak thousands have faced in the past week from the Woolsey Fire in Southern California and the Camp Fire in Northern California. An overnight band rehearsal kept Deepak Ramapriyan away from his home. But then, after hearing an early morning voicemail from his roommate, he quickly learned his house was in the line of fire. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <sighs> Getting word that my studio might have burned down, that I might have lost one of my cats. My whole life might have burned down. Now this was more than his home. This is where his band would hold rehearsals, right here in his home studio. My cats are Aladdin and Jasmine. Jasmine survived, but Aladdin wasn't so lucky. To top it off, he didn't have insurance. There's just a big shift in life with divorce and a lot of things are happening, so I've just been rearranging a lot of things. And he's not alone. Totally flattened, nothing left but a best ashes. Paradise is gone. <laughs> left temporarily homeless, a growing number of wildfire evacuees up north are setting up camp next to a Walmart parking lot. The tent city, I mean, when I first got here, there was nobody uh, here. Actually, I only used that And now it's just getting worse and worse and worse. More than 8,600 homes have been destroyed in the town of Paradise. And according to emergency management officials, it'll take years to rebuild the town of 27,000. I just want to go home. I don't even care if there's no home. I just want to go back to my dirt, you know, and put a trailer up and clean it up and get going. Sooner the better. I don't want to wait six months. That, that petrifies me. With scores of people still missing, the National Guard is now sending in troops to search through burned debris for more victims. And according to AccuWeather's forecast, these wildfires could easily surpass the damage caused by major hurricanes, including Katrina, Sandy, and Harvey. But Rama Priyan says that he's trying to channel his tragedy into a positive light. I feel blessed that at least I have art as an avenue to get this out. And hey, I mean, this might turn into inspiration for songwriting material. Hi, baby, baby. We're going to get through this. Estimates show that the state will exceed $200 billion by next week. And according to fire officials, they expect the campfire up north to burn until November 30th. In Malibu, Natasha Sweet, RT. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.